Stop it! Why did you buy me a fancy laptop when you already have a fancy desktop? You can talk. I am the fanciest of laptops. I am what I call the Omega Cortana, one that can talk back to you face to face. What do you mean I don't need a fancy laptop? I mean, I got simulations to do, I got renders to run, I cannot do that on some super low end one. Oh, but yes you can. Come with me into the wonderful world of a remote desktop. That's right, hey guys. Sorry for the uh, somewhat cringy intro, but I thought it would be funny to like do something different for these vlog style videos. So uh, hopefully you liked the somewhat cringy intro. If you did like it, give this a thumbs up. That really helps out YouTube algorithm. So uh, anyway, so with the whole Corona thing going on, like if you haven't lived on a rock, you might've noticed that uh, a lot of people are being advised to work from home. And I see a lot of posts popping up on people uh, saying that like, you yeah, but like, I don't have a powerful computer at home. How am I gonna work from home? And people asking like, oh, I need a good laptop in order to do like uh, simulation work for Houdini and like, what am I gonna buy? I kind of want to make, make the point that you don't need a powerful laptop at, uh, or computer at home in order to, to work remotely. Don't worry, I didn't buy this laptop specifically for this video. I actually did need a new laptop because my old laptop, let me show you. Um, so I mentioned that I think in the previous video, like the hinge is broken. And uh, like, okay, so and the, like the whole screen is sort of coming loose. And I think at some point this whole thing is just gonna fail. So I kind of need a new one. And I got super lucky on like a deal for this new one. Um, cause I think it was mispriced. So I think I got a, like a really good deal. So that's why I got like a higher end one. Um, so now I can also maybe do some remote, like, uh, like I can do some gaming here and like I brought my Oculus Rift back home. So just in time for Half-Life Alex maybe. So, uh, anyway, so I wanted to make this video about using remote desktop in order to do remote working because, um, like I moved my desktop to an office early last year. So that was my first office and now my other office, uh, I moved there early this year. Uh, and then I kind of was looking for a solution to order in order to maybe also sometimes work from home. So I didn't have a desktop at home anymore. I only had a, a crappy laptop, which was the one you saw before. And I was looking for, okay, maybe I can use remote desktop. And I kind of also wanted to try some remote gaming. So I was looking for something that would be like, if that would be possible, if it, like, and for something that would be super snappy. And I tried literally every remote desktop application out there. And I kind of settled on there's two that are the best in my opinion. So I'm gonna talk about these two. So the one I mainly use is called AnyDesk. And actually all of my tutorials for the past year have been recorded through AnyDesk. Um, so I log in on my laptop on AnyDesk. I log into my remote uh, computer, so my desktop. I pass through my audio, so I just plug in a, a microphone on my laptop. I pass through the audio to my desktop computer by calling myself on Discord and then putting the voice through to audio meter. So that's how I do that. And I just record uh, directly on the remote machine uh, with OBS. And I record all my tutorials that way and I even edit all my tutorials that way. And any desk is snappy enough in order to, uh, for like basically anything. You can even do editing, which is like kind of uh, really like timing is sort of important with like editing. So it's snappy enough to even do that. Uh, and another, another great um, like remote desktop program is called Parsec. And Parsec is more aimed at game streaming. So, and Parsec is even snappier than AnyDesk, but it has a couple of limitations. So uh, with Parsec, I, 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 you can even like plug in a controller in your computer and then like you can stream a game remotely. And I, I tried this with like Dark Souls 3 and it was actually like playable, which is pretty impressive for like something like Dark Souls, which you kind of need to be super responsive. So that worked uh, worked pretty well. I didn't finish the entire game through streaming, by the way, I did that just a lot locally uh, when playing it over here. Um, but so Parsec is even more snappier. The thing is just like for work, I prefer AnyDesk because 
uh, Parsec has a little bit more compression because it really, um, uh, it like Parsec values uh, like latency over compression. And I mean, it still looks good, but AnyDesk I think looks a little bit better. And also AnyDesk has a little, has some more uh, options in terms of like multiple monitor support. So at AnyDesk you can switch between monitors, which you cannot do on Parsec. You can have a, if you have a secondary monitor, you can just put a second instance of AnyDesk on another monitor and just open it on there as well. And then you can like use both of your monitors that you have on your desktop. So for like workstation uses, I think AnyDesk is a lot better. And as I said, it's snappy enough in order to even do editing. So I'm just gonna give you like a quick demo of showing any desk and showing Parsec just for workstation stuff. Maybe I'll fire up a quick game and show that as well. Uh, who knows? But um, yeah, just thought it would be super relevant to show this, to show you don't need a high-end laptop in order to do remote work. Uh, I, I see this question coming up all the time as well of people wanting to buy some super high-end uh, laptop with like dual GPUs and it's costing like six thousand uh, dollars and I mean, why why would you do that i mean unless you absolutely need to do the work from like directly on your laptop then sure go ahead and do that but for a lot of other cases remote desktop is perfectly fine only thing i wouldn't recommend doing it for is finalizing maybe composites or or like doing grading because of course there will always be some compression even if you put it to high quality mode i mean it's being streamed. It need to be needs to be low latency. So there will always be some compression. You cannot really get around that. So yeah, let's let's uh, let's just dive into and like showing a little bit how the whole uh, how the whole thing works. I think might be uh, thought this would make for an interesting video, given the whole uh, the whole the whole Corona thing going on and everybody needing to uh, to work remotely. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's show it. All right, so I'm literally recording now from every angle, but let's do some demos. So I am over there, and I am over there, and I am over here, and I am over here. I'm ever, I'm everywhere. So uh, anyway, let's open any desk. So we have uh, any desk over here, and uh, yeah, let's get into the uh, workstation. So I have some some stuff open. So I have, you know, let's do it full screen. Let's see if the, uh, let's leave full screen. Let's see if my webcam is actually still recording because I recorded this earlier and it's quit. Oh uh, yeah, it's still doing it. Ooh, All right. So yeah, so I have actually full Fusion Studio here and this is this theme for this uh, Houdini introductory course that I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be out in a couple of weeks. So anyway, you can see Fusion Studio, full Fusion Studio without any doggo in the laptop. So it's, it's actually running remotely. So I can just go through every, uh, Everything super smooth. Let's open some Houdini. It's gonna take a while. And in the meantime, we can also open Premiere. Let's see, we have a uh, project project open here. So that's the uh, thing about managing deadline that I uploaded uh, last week. So you can see, we can, uh, it's literally fast enough to, yeah, to, yeah, to edit. So you can see, I can just. You can see it's super smooth. There's almost li li almost no delay. So it's it's perfectly fine to do edit. So this is all running remotely on my workstation at, at the office right now. So so yeah, that's working fine. Let's wait for Houdini to boot up, which always takes a while because I'm using uh, I'm loading some stuff from the network on Houdini. So uh, let's uh, go on Houdini. All right, let's uh, let's make something. Let's do a uh, little simulation. So let's uh, do ground plane, I guess. Let's do pig head. Always the pig head. Always the same thing. All right, let's. Uh, all right, let's put the mouse to be like that. Let's just shatter the thing. Yeah, this is this is how I how I always record my um, my tutorials actually. So I'm uh, let's put some. Stuff on there. Let's do just our rigid bodies. Make it fractured rigid bodies. Let's turn off the ground plane. Let's do the grid. Let's play. Wow! Perfect. All right. Let's add some uh, redshift materials. Redshift material. 
just to show that like you don't really it is like fast enough even if you're like rendering stuff so let's do another redshift material let's do uh let's put this one in there Rip. gold let's do uh redshift and i really need to fix this error at some point i just can't be bothered to do it all right let's open up the render view Beautiful, let's add, add an HDRI or something. Beautiful. All right, let's put it to uh, Rec 709. Let's put the out node to, let's put the IPR. Let's put it uh, to update. I uh, mean, to reload. But yeah, you can see how smooth it is. Like even though I'm rendering remotely, it's still like it doesn't have any problems with me doing stuff. So yeah, I mean you can see how this is like perfectly fine to work work remotely. And still, now I have all of the like I have to like in my workstation there's there's three GPUs. Uh, like how am I gonna get three GPUs inside my laptop? I mean I'm not gonna do that. All right, so let's maybe uh, play a little game. So we shall we. So let's uh, close down any desk. And of course I can also switch monitors that way. So you can see you switch monitors very easily. Let's leave full screen. I could also make another connection. I could do like a connection to my other computer. So you know I'm in my other computer. So uh, deadline repository thing. So yeah, let's just close this. Let's... Uh, Let's, let's open Parsec. Let's do the Parsec thing. Parsec, where are we? There we are. Right, because Parsec is going to allow us to play some game. Right, so now we're, just, we're still here and you can see it's uh, just as smooth and I mean, still also super fast. I mean, you could also just use Parsec, I guess. So uh, yeah, let's open up Steam. Let's play some Witcher. Witcher, the best game ever. If you haven't played The Witcher yet, play The Witcher. Let's drink some water. That's what well, The Witcher is gonna open up. So with a controller plugged in. So full controller support. Let's uh, go continue. Witcher's contact in Valen was to be Hendrik. The Emperor's... Right. Oh, it's loading takes a little bit because I, I have the game installed on HDD on my uh, my uh, workstation. So. Plus, you always have the intro uh, animation anyway, which you cannot skip, I think. So. Right, so we're here. Oh, I actually drank a potion. So, yeah, we're here. Um, the thing, let's. Uh, I grab a roach. That's it, roach. So you can see, like, and uh, don't worry, I already finished this game at some point, but this is New Game Plus, I think. Or is it New Game Plus? I'm not sure. Let me check. Like, what's my character like? Character. Yeah, you can see New Game Plus. I'm level 54. Uh, I, I just I haven't played it in years. I used to, I played this when it came out and. I would kind of start a new game, but I haven't really finished it. Let's find some enemy maybe somewhere. Maybe like look at the world map. Like where where could we find an enemy? Hmm. Let's go to. Let's go to there. Whoa. Okay, let's find some enemies. Okay, I need to sort of start paying attention, maybe. Oh, f it's oh, oh it's, it's putting me to the uh, not to the custom location, but to the. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go like this. Then. Yeah, jump. 
just want to find some enemy so I can smash it to the bits. Like always, Must enemies are. Enemies are. Oh, there are some enemies there. Okay, uh, hopefully, I don't make a fool out of myself because this is new game plus and I haven't played. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, they're gonna kill me very quickly, probably. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. This is not gonna. Okay, one, one hit and we're dead. So oh, anyway, but you can see that it's like, it's literally fast enough to, uh, yeah, to, well, <laughs> to, to play. So this is why also why I don't get the argument against game streaming, because, I mean, if it's already fast enough for just a program like this, imagine what a uh, properly optimized surface like Google Stadia could do if they actually get there. <laughs> get there. Uh, well, anyway, let's do the quit domain menu. Yeah, so anyway, so the point I was just trying to make is that it's perfectly doable to work remotely this way. Like you don't need a powerful laptop in order to do this. This was what everything I showed you just now was just running on my on my desktop when we were still in there. It's so it's perfectly fine to to work like this. Just just use any any desk or parsec, um, and you're gonna get through your remote working. Uh, well, problems so yeah hopefully this was uh enlightening hopefully you kind of enjoyed uh watching me ramble and suck at the game um so yeah if you like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up icon that really helps with the youtube algorithm and uh yeah help my content get recommended to more people because i need to grow the channel in order to keep doing it every week um if you can if you want you can also support me on patreon that really helps out um because, I mean, of course, I need to take all time off from client work in order to be able to keep putting out the content that I do. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I got a lot of super cool content uh, lined up. I upload videos about every week. I have a super cool Houdini introductory course uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, so that's going to be super interesting. So, yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stay safe with the, uh, with the whole coronavirus thing and lock yourself in your house and for work remotely the way that I showed you. So hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching guys. Peace.